be awesome guys big sweet one here today so you're back in with some brand new customs and not any customs in here we do have some special ones which i go over as you can see non-wrestling related but yeah then before we get into that as you can see i finally got a tripod and yeah this was <laughs> very due and i did have a tripod before but it wasn't that good and i currently got one for my ring light which i got on now so i need another one for my phone but i finally got one now and hopefully this makes the videos a bit better so i'll do it with one hand and yeah but i currently got it in my in the ring so it takes a little bit of room up so hopefully um i can see what it's like in this video here and yeah that's that and now we'll take a look at the custom so first custom we're going to start off with is custom let's move some of these back actually so we can get a better look so the first custom we got is this custom Shingo from Wrestle Kingdom 15 when he took on Jeff Cobb. And yeah, this is um this came out really well and Shingo is a, um one of my favourites in New Japan. And yeah, he had a sick match against Jeff Cobb for the um, Never Openweight Championship. I believe that's what the title's called. <laughs> and yeah, but they had an epic match. And yeah, this is the attire he wore. And he normally just wears the um, black attire with like the red flames on both sides. But at Wrestle Kingdom, he did have this um, Japan logo here. And he had the logo there on the knee pad and a different design here. We've got the red laces. We've got all the detail gone on on the boots. And we've got epic head cast from TSM. And paint even had all the hair design. Perhaps use this was a... Um, Oh, Brutus the Barber, um, brief, uh, Beefcake, oh, I can't even say it, but yeah, you know what I'm on about, we've got that figure, and I believe, was that the whole figure? Yeah, that, fi that was the whole figure I used, and obviously I switched the arms out with some Fandango arms, I believe they were, so I had a basic hanging around in the crowd, so I just took that, and then here we got um, the head cast, as I said, and the rest was that, so that's a custom Shingo, right there which is currently for sale and the next custom which i don't know how to say his name eli dragon of is that's how you say it and yeah he's off he's one of the best in the next uk at the moment he had an amazing match against walter which i'm still yet to watch but i've seen everyone going about this match and apparently it's one of the best matches of 2020 so i definitely need to go check this out but yeah we got a 3d head print from aj customs on instagram and painted by me and he got his plain red attire, how he wears it, with the red like socks, the laces, the little design by here, and all the decals were from Curb Stomp um, on these as well, apart from that one which we'll get into. But yeah, pretty simple. I just used an Elite Thin Ballot for this, the red one, some lower legs out of my fodder. So that's what I used for this. And yeah, this is currently sold. So yeah, they're gonna be happy with this custom piece of Eli Dragunov and yeah super cool custom clean simple attire but that's how he wears it next we're moving on to a non-wrestling one none other than Eminem and how cool is this guys we've got Eminem in figure form with a cloth jacket and hat which I want to give a shout out to Crooked on Instagram who hooked us up with them and the plain black t-shirt from Ultimate Figure Shirts I believe that's what he's um caught on instagram and he does he's probably the best in the uk for the shirts in my opinion and yeah i added the gold chain and this is a 3d print from 14 figs on um instagram and i made an update of them and this is a tire based off the oscars 2020 when he performed lose yourself so that's pretty cool and we even sculpted on the gold watch here which i think came out pretty cool and we've got like a bracelet in there. I didn't add his tattoos on because obviously you can't see them. And I might add a ring. So he did wear a ring, which I left out. And yeah, all I used for this was the Elite Survivor Series John Morrison. Because I got a new one. So I was like, oh, I'll just use that. And yeah, it came out really cool. And yeah, happy how that came out. And now next, moving on, we've got a custom KSI from Logan Paul KSI 2. And yeah, I had to make this custom as um, I'm a big fan of KSI and obviously the Sidemen, if 
any of you to watch them and yeah when he won this match i was so happy and i just had to make this in figure form and yeah i would hope he would see this i did try and get him to see on instagram and twitter and i did want to put this on the reddit and but i can't put it on the reddit yes so i haven't got enough things to um post it on his subreddit so yeah if any of you do man watching this and camper on his reddit um please do if you can so you can see on, on his subreddit and just tag me in it my instagram and or youtube channel ever so he knows and yeah this came out so cool man i couldn't have done this on my own because the jacket was made by crota kid shirt by ultimate figure shirts and even made this waist piece and underneath it's better pictures on my instagram i don't want to take this off now because it's all nice like this but mac decals did do the decals for the body the tattoos and then with the gloves he did them as well and yeah super happy how this came out the only downfall is this mask it is an ali mask and it's way too big for him but i managed to pose it like on with the hood on like staying up like that sort of on my instagram so it's cool and we've got like the white cloth um what goes around the neck he um he wore um towel that's what's called and yeah we've got the sculpted on here and the head scan does the job and yeah, super happy as, as um, how this KSI came out, as you can see there. And yeah, custom KSI. I didn't think I'd be making a custom KSI and Eminem, but yeah, we did, we made it. Yeah. And probably the one most of you are looking forward to, and this did very well on Instagram. Everyone did like this custom a lot. And it is my Ultimate Edition custom Messiah Seth Rollins. And yeah, this this came out so cool if Mattel ever made one I'd hope it'd be something like this so I gave him the jacket shout out to Crookhead once again making the epic messiah jacket we got the shirt I want my figure shirt as always and then I used the um ultimate edition HBK and obviously added all the decals from Kerbsom this was based on payback 2020 I believe it was against Rey Mysterio and yeah we even got like the and then I did sculpt on the detail on the glove like there. So we got like the pray hands as he does for the Messiah. And we got the man burn head sculpt. Which came out really good. And it does like a little gap this. It's a little bit high but it's not too bad if you use it just for a promo. But if you did want to use it in any shows or pick fed you could use the alternative head scan I made. And look at this guys. Alternative Seth scan with the shave size, the long hair, the thicker beard. And yeah, man, I'm super happy this came out. It's Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. Hopefully, you're going to buy Mattel down the line, but I'm not too sure. And if they did, would they make it as good as this with all the accessories I made? I haven't given them the other hand with the sculpted on detail. And obviously, comes with the other hand as well. But yeah, and also, I forgot to say with this, the KSI, the parts used for this was an R Truth head scan, Kofi Kingston Elite, the green one with like the smaller rip torso, then Biggie, lower legs. And yeah, guys, that's been today's custom batch. And let me know in the comments down below your favorite customs. I'm happy how all of these came out. And a lot of you guys enjoyed some of these ones I made So on Instagram. So if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. Link will be in the description. And yeah, please like the video already. Subscribe if you're not here. Thanks for watching. And bye for now.